Hey guys, Joe here. Welcome to the MIDI Files. This month we decided to work on 8-bit music specifically for the NES, and I chose Mega Man 2, Metal Man Stage. So I chose Mega Man 2 because it's the only franchise that I'm really kind of familiar with. I didn't play NES games as a child, but I did play Mega Man, just Mega Man way after Mega Man 2. Mega Man X8, I believe, was the first one I ever played. I want to thank Sean for bringing this idea to the table, because I've never written chiptune music before, and I had a lot of fun doing this. A little bit about the song. This is in C major, and I actually don't really go to the tonic a lot, and that's done on purpose to kind of keep you in a area. It's built off of three sections, so it kind of lets you still feel like you're progressing, but it keeps you on that stage until you get to that boss battle, which this would not be playing at. So things that I didn't know about chiptune before uh, Sean introduced us to this was uh, in this specific case when we're writing for the NES, we wanted to keep the restrictions that they had back then. So with my lack of knowledge, I just decided to use only four channels this whole time. I decided a noise channel, which is my drums, and then I used serum for the other three channels, which is two saw waves and a triangle wave. I know in both Tyler and Sean's pieces that they both use actual sounds from the NES thanks to a contact library. And I'm not sure what it's called, but I'm going to ask them and we'll link it in the description below uh, in case any of you guys are interested in writing chiptune music or just having extra sounds to layer in your productions. I still have a lot to learn when it comes to 8-bit music, but I had a lot of fun with this project and I definitely hope we do some more. So with all that said, as per usual, hit that subscribe button, show a friend, leave a comment below, and tell us what kind of music you would want to hear next time. See ya!